How's it going guys? Welcome back, Gaz has got it one. Thanks for all the well wishes from everybody, very much appreciated. Thanks for everybody that's been in touch, asking how I'm doing. Um, got a few bits and bats to do, obviously, not being as well as I have for the last uh, week or two. I've uh, got a little bit of maintenance to do on the pond and a little bit of upkeep. Um, oh, switch these lights on so we can see what's going on. Yeah, fish all look good. I have been coming out to check them, but literally just popping out and making sure they're all right. But uh, I haven't been spending much time out here. As you can see, there you guys, they're all up and about. But I have got a bit of maintenance I need to do. I've got loads of little bits of uh, reeds that have all snapped off and they're all stuck behind the backup floor there. Um, I need to give the uh, filter a quick clean out and I need to give the pump a service because I know a lot of these little leaves that were all on this bush here they all dropped at bottom the bottom drain sucked all them up and it's partially blocked it up a little bit nothing major but some of that does need to be done but as you can see guys everybody's cruising around everybody's doing all right pond temperatures at present are at can you see that 5.3 degrees inside the pond so that thermometer says which is inside the filter system but we'll give it a quick zap and just double check yeah there you go 5.3 5.4 5.5 5.6 yeah so 5.4 to 5.6 couple of points in it of a degree difference 10.3 degrees inside the filter house and we're looking at i think it says oh i need to get a new battery for this at 9.1 on the outside <coughs> so a couple of degrees warmer in here but the fish are looking good no problems up to press i've got a few little jobs in here to do want to see if i can give grass a quick cut just tidy it up a little bit fish are all moving around and swimming around nicely still active Everybody's looking good. In fact, I mean, it, it's it's almost like they're, uh, they're looking for a little bit of something to eat. I'll try them with a tiny bit, but I ain't going to go stupid with it. See if they're interested. I do have a little bit of wheat germ, so we'll give them a little bit of that. Maybe one thing. Just grab a little bit of this wheat germ, and we can see if they're interested in a little bit of something to eat. Big to that. There we go. Just give them a little bit. They're active, they're moving. They're not down on bottom. Temperatures are warmer than what they have been in wheat. But they're still very lift. A little bit lethargic and in their actions, but a little bit of wheat um, shouldn't do them any harm. Just put them a few pieces on, and that'll do them for now. But everybody's looking good. One or two with a little bit of cat pox, but the ones that I've always had a little bit of issues with it, so nothing new. But I do need to get, there you go, you can see there's a little leaf just out there in the middle there. That one's blown in. I do have one issue. 
I have lost one or two of the little ones. Now as you can see just down there, that's where the little ones like to hide out, down in that bottom corner by the plants and the reeds there. And I've lost three. Now it's either one or two things. The little lantern there I've found been knocked over and as you can see there the blue slate's been moved. So I think that's been on and around the back. And that's the area where my neighbour has said on that bit of fence just just here where he's seen the, the heron sitting on the fence in the past. So I've got a sneaky suspicion perhaps maybe the heron's been down, spotted the fish over there and waited till they come within uh, spotted the fish over there. This is where I, this is where I saw him take the asagi last time. And I think either he's taken a few or they've uh, succumbed to the bottom drain and into here, obviously. They ain't going to survive that, but I would have been very surprised that they've gone up the bottom drain because the other fish seem uh, perfectly fine and all of the same sort of similar size. But who knows, they've gone, I haven't seen them in weeks now. But saying that, I've had it before where one's disappeared for weeks and I've not seen it and then all of a sudden it's appeared from somewhere. They could possibly be behind that plant pot or behind that plant pot hiding. And if they are, I'm going to leave them there as they are because if they're, if they're spooked by something and they want to get somewhere where they feel safe, I'll leave them to it. Should, uh, when I, when I, you know, kick back in for the full season and spring or what have you and I, you know have a quick tidy out quick back round make sure everything's nice and clean and tidy behind the lily pots that are in the bottom and stuff but there's no sign of anything I can't see anything there's no carcasses or you know remains or anything like that so I have a sneaky suspicion either the the herons got them or they've gone up the bottom drain but one of those things with having little fresh little fish in your pond along with uh, your bigger stock. But, yeah, here's what it is. Can't be changed. Everybody else is looking good. We've got no problems. I'm lucky what we've come through the cold sessions or the cold bits of the season that we've had so far without any issues, without any problems. Everybody's looking pretty good for it. So, anyway, right. I'm going to... Uh, give the pump a service get that cleaned up get it flowing because obviously you can see it's slowed down quite a bit and then I'm going to uh, give it a, a quick filter clean and then I've got another little job to do get the garden sorted out got two plant pots which I've forgotten to drill holes in the bottom which is at the corner of both my gate posts just as I come through into the garden there I need to drill the holes in there in them because they're getting waterlogged and <coughs> Obviously not going to do the root structure of the plants any good, so I've got to drill a couple of them so they can drain out. Other than that, just a quick recap, let you know how things are going. I do have one other thing, a quick thing to uh, to mention, uh, the grown show. We have, um, I think at present, we have up to 50 um, shower, which I will be putting a video in after you know this section for you to see the the quality of the fish so you can see um, and the information of breeder where they've come from and etc um, how much it will be per fish for I'm not looking to do a massive grown show just want to do something that's nice little grown show a little bit of fun a little bit of uh, you know something back for the community we have a prize for the winner and the opportunity just to partake in a little bit of a uh, little little bit of fun for the season they are nice quality fish, they will be coming from Wakefield Koi and we will get in touch with a little bit more information as to when the date is. It's a sample for you to see who they are, how much they're going to be, the quality of the fish and then we'll arrange a date and a time and a place where we're all going to go pick us fish and meet up. So I'll get back to you with that information later on. Right guys, the growing show. 
And what we're going to do is, um, obviously, if you're, if you're interested and you want to be involved, uh, leave your comments in below. Let me know if you're interested and if, how many fish you would like to, or should you be want to be in, in on the actual grown show. They are ranging from 22 to 28 cm. They're uh, Japanese imports of high quality Tosai, and they come from the Japanese breeder Keisai, and they were imported by Ricky Stoddard into the UK to Koi Wholesale, obviously, and then George has picked them from Koi Wholesale, and they're now back at his premises, and from what I'm led to believe, being fed on and grown on until such time as they're ready, so there's likelihood that some of them could be slightly bigger than what they are, as he feeds well to his fish, so his stock should be, you know, starting to put on a little bit of weight. Now, there is also the possibility that we can do some slight overwintering with these fish. I haven't spoken to George of it as of yet, but for all those that aren't heated and can't put a fish in, there will be, you know, the possibility of George keeping them. All the fish that are selected will be individually photographed with their owner so that we know whose is whose fish. And the chance are they will be a little bit bigger than what we are at present, which is the 22 to 28 cm. cm. Um, we've got 50 at present. There may be a possibility that we can get some more, but all that's left to do now is show you the fish and let you say if you're interested and who wants to be a part of it. Like I say, all those that do, drop your comments in below. I'm in on the grown show. Um, send me your details, get me some details across to me, and then we'll arrange a date and which suits the group and the people that are involved, and we'll organise a good day for getting together, going down there and, and doing the draw. So, without further ado, let's have a look at these fish. Right guys, so there you go, there's a sample of the fish from George's uh, Wakefield Koi. Um, if you're interested guys, hit me up in the comments below, drop me a little message, I'm in on the Grown Show. Um, what we'll do then is we'll get in touch with everybody, put a WhatsApp group together, and we'll arrange for a date and a time and a place when we can all, which, which suits the vast majority. Once we've got that sorted out, we'll let everybody know within the WhatsApp group when the date is. We'll arrange for a meet up and we'll go down there, pick a fish, measure up and uh, get, it, get it up and going. Till uh, such time, as we've got a date sorted out and I've got some numbers of people that are interested. Like I said, we've got up to 50. We could get more if there's more people that would like to be on it. Hit me up in the comments, let me know, subscribe. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we get as many people interested as we can. Then let's see what this, uh, this season brings. So for now, we'll get back to the video and I'll catch up with you in a bit. That right, goes well. I'm totally whacked. This flu and kidney infection has knocked me for a six month. <coughs> Filler's cleaned. Pond skimmed off for all the bits that I can get from it. Garden trimmed back as much as I can be physically bothered to do. But it looks a bit tidier. A bit, not a great deal. A couple of holes to drill in my plant pots, and then uh, that's going to be it. Filter's running again at full fill. Well, no, actually, 80%. But, yeah, it's doing good. Chag looking well. The Yamabuki's still got a split in his pick, and I'm going to leave him be. Until at least we get some warmer weather and if needs be I'm going to give him a bit of assistance with that but that's the only fish that I've got with a little bit of it does look to have healed like about a centimetre or so but other than that everything else is good and not to say that that's bad his tail was a bit torn as well um, with the parasites and we've been constantly flashing back in the last season but 
Everybody else is looking good. A couple that I'm going to be moving on is this jag here. The uh, one just down there, which is sort of like a dirty lemon arrow here with uh, large scales. I might even see if Peter wants them to replace the fish that he lost. If you're interested, Peter, let me know. Obviously, mate, we'll come to summer, sorry, spring, spring time when it's getting a bit warmer. But these two fish there, mate, if you're interested, bud. Well, that uh, helps you start your collection off again, mate. I don't want out for him, bud. You're more than welcome to him, should you be interested. But if anybody else is interested, hit me up, let me know. Um, like I said, I'm going to be moving them on. I have a new uh, show to come. Um, I will be having a fish from my grown show to come. So, two to go, two to replace. A couple of little ones that I'm going to, uh, that I'm growing on a little bit. Two, one which I definitely want to keep. Others I might let them go as well if anybody else is interested in them. I'm sure Daz from Daz's Guy Farm won't mind. Uh, there is quite a few, <laughs> quite, quite a few too many fish in there now to be fair. But, come this season, when it gets a little bit warmer. Ooh. The uh, Benny just had a bit of a bit of a flash then. That's the first time I've seen out there, so I'm not going to start panicking until I know the result. But they have all been pretty dormant for a long period of time. I imagine now that they're having a bit of a move around. The odd one or two of them might have a bit of an itch that they need to tickle. Nobody else is doing it. There's not big numbers. That's the first time I've seen it. So we'll monitor it and keep an eye out just in case. But yeah, we've got all these bits out from behind the back of the filter there. Garden's had a cut. Uh, trim back and tidy. Trim back a few of these. Can't be bothered with them anymore. My back is absolutely killing me. But uh, a few of the smaller ones all down there. There is um, one or two nice ones running amongst them. But we'll see. When the pond's a bit bigger, there'll be plenty of room for them all anyway. So, yeah, we've had a bit of a tidy up, a bit of a clean. And a bit of a trim back. I just now need to, uh, we can see all water there. That's where I tipped out of these, these two pots. They both need an old drill in the bottom so that the, the soil can drain off because it's uh, absolutely waterlogged. Everybody in the mini pond's doing good. There is a fair few uh, young koi in here as well. But everybody in there is doing well. No losses, no problems. But yeah, garden looks a bit more tidy for a, a good couple of hours fettling. Oh God, man, my back's aching, but all my kidneys. So I think enough's enough for today. I get in and I'll add these uh, little bit of footage to the to this video about the grown show fish. We have a bit more details for you. Get back to you in a tick. There. Quite a lot of water coming out of them pots, so at least there'll be a drain off now.
absolutely soaking wet through in there. Need the root structures to be able to dry off and not get waterlogged and rot them away. I'd completely forgotten to do that, so I just remembered. So I popped out just before it gets dark. But there we go, that's one another job done. So guys, if that's something you're interested in, and you like the look of the fish that you've seen, don't forget, drop me a comment, I'm in on the Grown Show, and we'll uh, get some numbers together, and we'll get a date organised. Um, if I could ask all those that are out there that keep coming back and watching on a regular basis, if you're interested and you like the content, do us a huge, huge favour. Give us a thumbs up, like, share, maybe a subscribe. Uh, help me get there to this this target. I'm ever so close now. It'd be uh, fantastic if we can make it to the 1,000 mark, and then I can look into the lines of uh, the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Usual thing, guys. If you're enjoying this kind of content, do us a huge favour: like, share, subscribe, tell a friend. And until next time, keep smiling, all. And we'll see you on the next one. Take it easy, guys. Bye bye.